Ah, oh, there you are, you little rascal. You've been chasing cats again, eh? What do you want to show me? Don't miss them. I'm best coming. I'm coming. Belgium. Is this what you want me to see? Easy boy. Good dog. You're right. She is a beauty. Ah, oh, she is. She's a real crooner. You mean schooner? Well, that's what I said. Hmm. And she's yours for 90. Snowy, why are you so interested in a model ship? <laughs> you can't eat it. I'll give you 50 for it. Sold for 70, and I'd say you've got a real bargain. <sighs> How much for the boat? Oh, I'm afraid you're too late, sir. I'll buy it off you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not interested in selling it. Wait a minute. I'm a collector. I'll give you 10 times what you pay for it. I'm sorry. Listen, young man. I'm warning you. Easy, boy. That's enough, Snowy. I'm very sorry. Good day. Well, that's very strange. We're not the only ones who fancy this old model. I'm beginning to think there's more to this than meets the eye. What do you think, Snowy? I know someone who knows a thing or two about boats. Shall I introduce you? Oh, yes. Thanks. Let's go. So you bought a unicorn. That's his name. Triple Master, Double Decks, 50 Guns. And famous for all the wrong reasons. The unicorn? Yeah, you should take a look at this. Hmm. The unicorn. A valiant ship of Charles II's fleet. Triple master, double decks, 50 cannons. 1676, the unicorn left Barbados, set sail for Europe, and she was attacked at sea by Red Rackham. The captain abandoned his crew and blew up his own ship. Do you hear that, Snowy? This act of cowardice would bring dishonor down on the captain's descendants for generations. Wow. The captain of the unicorn 
Sir Francis Haddock. He sank his own ship. Why? Why would he send the unicorn to the bottom of the sea? It doesn't say. History is never truly in the past, young man. History is in our blood. What an odd drawing. It looks like there's a... I'll take it. Thank you, sirs. And have a lovely day. It looks like the mast could be turned. There's something inside this model. <laughs> Good old Snowy! So that's what you sensed, eh? It's rolled up. Some kind of document. An old scroll. Three brothers joined. Three unicorns in company sailing in the noonday sun will speak. What kind of gibberish is that? Galleon must be long gone by now. Snowy, it's up to you. We're on the right track. Spike Hall. M and G Bird. Ringing it won't help much now, will it? Huh? He's going into the bird's place. What do we do, Alan? Nothing for now. <sighs> we don't want to be spotted. It's too risky. We need to find another way in, Snowy. There must be more tracks around here. Did you find something? An old trail. Well, do you have it? Some kid bought it right from under my nose. We got it back. There's nothing inside. The kids found the scroll for sure. Hmm. Let's put it back in its place. We'll figure it out later. That's the man from the flea market. We have to get my model back. Let's try and follow them. Dead end again. Eureka, Snowy. 
Let's follow it. Rats always find a way inside. It'll guide us. They definitely know about the scrolls. Go on. Keep at it. Keep searching. Seek, are you onto something? Not a sound. Snowy! I can't follow you. You'll have to open up a way for me to get in. beneath Marlin Spike. We did it! But first, I'm giving you the scroll, Snowy. If I get caught, they won't think to search you. <laughs> 